It has been a long time, a long, long time since I left a Marvel movie with a smile on my face. Let's talk about Deadpool and Wolverine. So yeah, I got back yesterday seeing Deadpool and Wolverine and I got to say, I know there's a lot of comments. A lot of people feel like this is not really better than the first one. Some people feel like this is really great. Box office is trending to be one of the best openings for a Marvel movie in recent memory. My opinion is straight. This movie is more than just a Deadpool 3. It's a celebration. A celebration for all the suffering, for all the joy of being in a theater watching x-men for the first time for watching spider-man for the first time for watching the avengers and iron man and a celebration of just being a fan and i don't think this movie would have been possible without people like ryan reynolds ryan reynolds since blade trinity i mean there's history behind that but he has always been someone who's given 110% and he fought for the role of Deadpool, you know, putting up that test footage just to get the buzz out there, you know, just going guerrilla style marketing. And he believed in the character, you know, before he did the role in X-Men origins, uh, Wolverine back in like I think 2009. And it's just a testament to like when you believe in something, when you believe in yourself, when you believe in the character, when you believe in what's possible, if people would just let you create, you get movies like this. Now, are there problems in Deadpool Wolverine? Yeah, it, it's a tad bit long. Yeah, some of the jokes are don't always land, but I was smiling. I was laughing. I was saying, oh shit, I've never seen said so much oh shit moments with like all these surprises that were in that movie. I don't want to spoil anything for you guys. I just want you guys to go out there and watch it for yourself. But I was so, I was excited. I was excited. Like before I even saw the movie, I was like in a bad mood. I was just like, just sad town. I don't, I don't know why. And when I saw the movie and I saw like start up in the opening credits, like my, my, my mood just changed drastically and i was so into the movie i think the villain was really great um, emma corrin she did an outstanding job as cassandra nova i was she is a extinct extinction level threat like i want to see more of them i want to see more of that character in future movies i i, I think they did an awesome job in the role as uh cassandra nova she they were she was ter terrifying it was disgusting it was like creepy it was it was it was perfect i thought everyone just did a really good job I, it's so hard to like talk about it because there's like so many things i want to say but just just know that you will have fun watching this movie just know that hugh jackman man the man's done over done over 20 years as wolverine coming into the role not really knowing much about the character i heard like kevin feige kind of Brought in comic books of Wolverine for him. Just like, I, I know you can do this role. He believed in him. Because Kevin Feige worked on X-Men back in the day. So he believed in Hugh Jackman. He believed in what he could do. And there was all this talk. Well, he's like over six foot tall. You know, Wolverine's like a big stock character. You know, you know they're wearing like this black Wilson's leather, you know, outfits. Like, I mean, there were so many slings and arrows for X-Men when it came out. But I remember when I just saw it and saw Cyclops on screen, saw Wolverine on screen, when I was a, a little kid, I was just floored. I was floored at, at what I saw. And the first one still holds a special place in my heart. You know, some people may say it doesn't hold up and that, that's your opinion. But if it wasn't for movies like X-Men, if it wasn't movie, for movies like for Blade and all these other movies that came out before, we wouldn't have the Marvel Cinematic Universe that we have today. And yes, Marvel is on a decline right now. They, they are the lowest point right now. But, And I'm not expecting this movie to like save the entire Marvel franchise. But just like in like Dark Souls, you know, linking the fire, it just takes like one person to carry the fire. 
and 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 ignite it for the rest of the world. I think that's what Ryan Reynolds did. I'm going to hold on to this flame until I get big enough that I can bring in everybody that contributed to this reality. You know, everyone. And and this movie has a theme where, and I don't want to spoil anymore, but it, the theme is like you threw certain people away to make room for a new world. And it, there's so many meta, <laughs> there's so many layers on top of it. I don't want to get too much anymore. It's really really hard to, to talk about it, but like. You threw a lot of people away, figurative, figuratively and, and literally. You threw a lot of people away, a lot of people just by the wayside, and you expected to just be successful without them. And to some extent, you were. To some extent, you were doing a great job. And I'm talking to you, the royal you, as like Disney, Marvel, Fox, all that stuff. You know, you guys did some grimy shit. And you are where you are because you made your choices where you did. But it takes passionate people. It takes people with a purpose. It takes people like Ryan Reynolds, like Hugh Jackman, like Sean Levy, like everyone that came together to make this movie to recognize and celebrate those who came before. Those who came before, we need to honor them because without them, they wouldn't have given us that spark to like, you know, fit in with this role, you know, do this, do this particular movie, um, you know, rewrite certain scripts, you know, you know, they fought and fought and they're reaping what they sow. They're reaping the benefits of all their hard work for all those years, for all those were years where, you know, studios didn't call them back. You know, studios were like just passing them along. Studios are just messing stuff up on, on set. You know, the executives just sticking their fingers into the creative processes and, and directors' faces just to get them to do what they need to do. And this was like a big cathartic moment. Like, we've arrived. And I know this movie, I know like Deadpool start off like really gritty you know really you know underdog you know not a lot of great special effects and but it had a lot of heart had a lot of spirit and that was the success and also the violence the violence was like top notch and over the course like towards Deadpool 2 Deadpool 2 um yeah it, it was it, it it there was moments where it did get better but if I had to put Deadpool 2 against Deadpool Wolverine I would put Deadpool Wolverine right above Deadpool 2. I like elements of Deadpool 2, but I felt, and even though this movie is a lot more wacky, a lot more, there's a lot of heart in it. There's a lot of things that, and I, I want to see it again, but like, there's so much, there's so many surprises, so many things in store, so many possibilities that you owe it to yourself to go out in the theater and see it. I know this review is like all over the place. I didn't really give you guys any much on the story. <laughs> And, and I, I don't want to. You guys could probably heard it from other commenters, but you owe it to yourself to go into the theater, support this movie, and you, you're going to have a ball. You, you're not going to be bored. I, I promise you, if you're a fan of this channel, you're not going to be bored of this movie. You, you're you're going to want to see it again and again and again, and, that, and that's what you're supposed to. So, yeah, that's all I got. If you feel like what I had to say, feel free to like, share, subscribe. Cabs out.